effort in vain to serve the Lord. Amen? There's always a reward from Jehovah God. Amen? We are on great catch through zeal. Na tumesonga, na tumeona vile zero inafanya kazi, au zero ni nini, na vile yaweza kufanya kazi dani ya maisha yetu. Na tunasonga bele mpaka kesho, kwa sababu next week, tunamugeni ambaye atatupeleka wiki muzima, atakuwa na lunch hour here, atakuwa na revival katika ipresi. Na mungu wetu kabisa, atatuinua kila moja wetu. Kwa hivyo, tusukue iyo jukumu ya kuinvite wandugu wetu na wandada wetu, ili mungu wetu atuinue pamoja, tukiwa mwiri wa kristo itauni yetu ya mwananga. Amen. Amen. Kesho after lunch, after lunch hour, tuta, tuna crusade pale mkoyo, is a joint crusade for all the churches, and then we will be there as a team, and we will be able to magnify and uh, lift the name of the Lord. We are in John 12 and, 2, 2 and verse number 17 says, And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thy house has eaten me up. Jana, tukana kwamba, ni vizuri sisi wale watu ambaye wamepokea Kristo kama mokosi wa maisha yetu. Watu wawe na usuhuda. Watu waone maisha yako. Watu waone maisha yangu. Ili mumbaja wao apate kutoa usuhuda juu yako. Because here, tunaona ya kwamba and the disciples remembered. Kwa hivyo, kuna kitu ambaye Yesu alifanya mpaka wale wanafusi wakakubuka. Na kucha kuatangazia kwamba utakubukwa na watu wanakujua siku moja. Kwa sababu ya vile wewe utakuwa na ile jukumu, ile, ile ziu, ile mioto, ile commitment ambaye watu wale wanakujua watakubuka, watasema ndanda frani dugu frani mwaka moja huyo tulimuona tulikubuka vile alikuwa alikuwa kara wakubuka waseme wasoe testimony juu yako because the disciples are testifying they are saying and they remembered the zeal that was in Jesus in the house of God which was eating him up hallelujah Maybe there are somebody who will testify of you and me one day in Jesus' name. Amen. We have seen zero is one of the dynamic force for accomplishing something in life. We have seen that Jesus came to accomplish a mission here on earth. And we are the result of that, that mission of Jesus. We have seen that Jesus could not accomplish his mission without a zero. That's why we are here because of that zeal. We have seen also God never give a task without giving the zeal to accomplish something in your life and my life. We have also seen that we have the same mission which was with Jesus and we have to accomplish it. Five, ile mission ambaye yesu alikuwa nae hapa duniani. Hiyo mission, hiyo zeal Ata sisi tunaye ya accomplish something here on earth in our generation in Jesus name. Haya. Jana tukaona kwamba kuna watu ambaye walikuwa na zero. Tukaona doubt. Psalm 69 verse number 9, number 9 alikuwa na zero because Bible say for the zero of the house has eaten me up. Then tukaona nani? Tukaona Paulo 1 Corinthians 9 and 16, he said, Woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel. Woe unto me if I don't take this, ne the, the necessity is laid upon him. So, Yeso, Dawudi, na Paulo, na wale wegine katika Biblia, men and women with a zero. That's why we are reading so many men and women in the Bible because they had zero in their life in Jesus' name. Na sasa hiyo zero, walikuwa nalo, na hata sisi, hiyo tumewashiwa na siku moja, au wakati moja, 
kuna watu watasema ya kwamba kuna dada wawili kuna wadugu wa ile kuna wadugu wa tano walikuwa ranchawa na siku ya thursday walikuwa na zero ya kuja nyumba ya mungu wetu walitumikia mungu ai haleluya so yesterday tukaona kwamba thing to do about things to know about zero kitu moja tukaona kwamba zero is a commitment to god's assignment ay 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 so when we are talking about zero we are saying it is a commitment to god's assignment hiyo ni kusema ya kwamba yeso alifanya assignment ya yeso haba duniani david paulo na wale wengine katika biblia wale tunasoma juu yao they did what they were told to do they they were able to do god's assignment here on earth na jana tukao na kwamba we have that assignment even as today in jesus name tukao na number 2 that zero is dedication to the core of god here on earth zero is dedication to the core of god here on earth yani zero ni mwito wa Mungu kila mmoja wetu hapa duniani ujue ya kwamba you have a zero of god here on earth na hiyo zero ni ya kokoko ku accomplish the calling or the mission that god has called you here on earth pia tukaona kwamba zero ni nini tukaona zero is a responsibility to pursue god purpose here on earth tukaona hiyo ya kwamba when we are talking about the zeal we are saying we have a responsibility to continue to pursue the purpose of God here on earth in Jesus name tukijua namna hiyo kweli kutakuwa na shida kutakuwa na challenges kutakuwa na kuchoka lakini tukiwa na ile zero tutajua tutajua kwamba with that responsibility with that commitment with that dedication we can continue doing the assignment of God here on earth in Jesus name now for today number 4 for today what is zero zero is seeing every obstacle as a stepping stone for an expected result so when we are talk about zero we are saying that zero sees every obstacle as a stepping stone for an expected result hiyo ni kusema kwamba katika zero ukisoma juu ya watu ambaye tunasoma juu yao katika biblia ni watu ambaye who they were able to accomplish god result here on earth and they were result they were result here on earth kwa hivyo tunasema kwamba ile obstacle utapata ile obstacle nitapata ndujue ya kwamba ile obstacle ukifanya the lord assignment ni a stepping stone ya kupeleka kiwango kingine <laughs> hallelujah so what you need to understand and what i need to understand, understand is ya kwamba katika ile obstacle itakuwa ikikujia itakuwa inikijia i need to be seeing it is a, a stepping stone toward the result ambaye Mungu wetu ako tayari kuifanya katika jina la Kristo amen so you are not supposed and i'm not supposed to give to give up but i am supposed to continue to pursue the the the, the assignment that i can be able to to have that stepping stone for the expect, expected result hiyo nasema kwamba jambo lolote unafanya jambo lolote ninafanya katika ufalme wake Mungu wetu kukiwa na ile changamoto kukiwa na ile obstacles ni wewe juu ya kwamba hiyo is a stepping stone to help me to see to expect result that you come from god as i continue to serve him in jesus name so all the time be sure be assured that any challenge any obstacle it is a, step, a stepping stone take you to an expected what result kutakuwa na jambo itatokea katika ile changamoto katika ile assignment unafanya katika jina la Kristo 
So we are sure that we are not, it's not in vain because there be that expected result in our life. Number five. Tukiongea pa wala zero, zero ni nini? Zero, zero does not allow destruction when it is on action. Wow, 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 wow. I like that. When you have that zero, when I have that zero, when we have that zero, zero does not allow any destruction when it is on action. Ay, 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 ay. Yo ni kusema, wakati uko katika assignment yake mungu wetu, wakati tuko katika katika ile 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 jukumu ile 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 force ambaye inatusukuma because it is a dynamic force ambaye inatusukuma katika the expected result bibi anasema kwamba there will be in that in that in that particular time usi arau ende kitu ikurete distraction kwa sababu gani kwa sababu katika ministry katika God's assignment ujue ya kwamba saitani atarete kitu inaitako nini? Destruction. Anda kupinga, anda nipinga, anda tupinga, anda yete destruction ili ya kwamba when you brought the destruction you are not going to be focused. I am not going to be focused on God's assignment. So we are not supposed to allow any destruction Kwa sababu, distraction itatoretea kitu ambaye kuta, hakuta kuwe na action, hakuta kuwe na kitu ya kufanya. Lakini, when we refuse it, we are going to see the result in Jesus' name. Kwa hivyo, ushikuwe moyo, na mimi, na webe, tujue ya kwamba, kutakuwa ile shangamoto, lakini, to, let us not allow any distraction when you are in action. Ay. Hallelujah. When you are on assignment, when I am an, on an assignment, let us not allow destruction that we can be able to see the result. We can be able to be in action in whatever we are doing in Jesus' name. Now, do you have Your destruction is a kuja, obstacle is a kuja, but no, you are on God as an assignment. Are you together? Number six. Zero is not a merely emotion. Zero, see, emotion is not merely emotion. Uh, emotion. Zero is action. Zero is action is not emotion. Hiyo ni kusema katika meoni mwetu katika huduma. We are not going to do the assignment by emotion. Kwa sababu, wakati mwingine, kuna fikara, webe na mimi, unasikia kwamba, I am, I, am not, I, am not, I am not feeling to do it. We don't go by feeling. We go by the action. Hallelujah. Because emotion will come. Vitu ya kukuletea emotions, usikie, I am not feeling to do it. I am... I am, I am, I'm less concerned. I, that, that is not mine. That is not my assignment. Jana nisema ya kwamba, kila moja wetu, tuna assignment, kila moja wetu katika mwili wa kristo. Na tukijua tuna assignment, tukijua tuna kitu ya kufanya, ujua ya kwamba kuna kitu ambaye mungu amekuitia na amenitia la kufanya katika huduma au katika mwili wa kristo au katika ile local charge ujua ya kwamba wakati mwingine emotion inakujaga lakini we don't go by emotion we go by faith in Jesus name and when we go by faith we are sure we are going to enjoy the result that you come with that assignment that we are doing in Jesus name May so may the Lord help you and help me that we don't move by emotion, we move by faith in Jesus' name, our Lord and our Savior. Here in Guinea, zero always pushes one to work at all costs. Enduring hardship for the sake of the mission. I like that. Zero pushes or zero always pushes one to work 
at all costs, enduring all the hardship for the sake of the mission. Hatuna time sa kusoma. Lakini, ukisoma habari ya Daudi. Daudi had many hard time in his mission. He had many challenges in his mission. Jesus, who has saved us when he was doing the mission of our father here on earth, he had a very hard time. Paulo, the one who had a mission, mentioned anybody here on earth, men and women in the Bible, all of them which we are reading about them. If you read about their history and their mission, nobody who had no hard time in his mission or her mission. So, it's very important for us to do, to, to know that that wonderful uh, point is very important. We are called, we are, the zero push us to work. It pushes you to do something. It puts you, put you to action. It puts you to assignment. That, I, that God is counting on me. When we come to Rantaba, Maybe I can I can You know, you are that zero, that dynamic force, it is actually pushing you to work. The calling, the gift that God has given you, it is pushing you to, to work. And when you are working, there is a hardship sometimes. There is a challenge sometimes. But we can continue doing the work for the sake of the mission. Which brought us here. You have to know you have a mission. I have to know that I have a mission. I was, I was telling, I was telling jo jo George with the people we, we are together. In fact, we had come straight to a mission at Keno, Keno, Keno Town. And we, are, and we went there by, by nine, we are traveling to Keno. And uh, we, we had a mission there. And I was telling George that remember. That after this mission, we are also going to another ma mission at Kano. That to say that it was not easy. We are remembering this lunch hour. Even after Kano, I had another meeting with the pastors. Even that meeting is still going on. After this meeting, I have another meeting. After this meeting, I have another one and a prayer in the evening. So it is a mission. Aye. Which that mission is pushing us. It is pushing each of us to work. It is pushing you to be on action. It is pushing you to it pushing you to assignment that God has called you in this time that we are living in Jesus' name. So it is at all costs. I'm finishing. At all costs, you are you know you must know that you at work at work at at at, at all costs, enduring hardship for the sake of what for the mission. Sometimes it will be not a bread. Sometimes it will not be with the butter. But sometimes it is a, it is, it is a, co, a cost. We are going to count the cost at all time. It is hard time. It is challenging. But we thank God because we are going to have grace to continue to accomplish the mission that God has given us every single day in our life in Jesus' name. We continue tomorrow. Let us pray to God that God will give us grace in the time of hardship, in the time of paying any price, in the time of hard time, in the time of challenges. Just pray. God, give me the grace that I continue to do my assignment which I was called for a time like this in Jesus' name. His upper hand and just talk to the Father until Lord give me the grace for assignment. Give me the grace to do the work. Give me the grace to continue with our with my assignment. Give me grace to continue even in hard time. Give me the grace even in the time of challenges. Lord, I want to accomplish your assignment that you have given you come. I know sometimes I have some emotional in my life. But God, I pray that I'll, I'm going to be in action. I know sometimes there are obstacles. 
but God, they are they are going to be a stepping stone toward the action, toward the resource which I am called for in my assignment a time like this. Sometimes it's not easy, sometimes it's very painful, sometimes we are paying all the costs, sometimes we are being challenged, sometimes it is is hard time, sometimes it's painful. But as Jesus said that. When he was here, he was challenged. Paul was challenged. David was challenged. And many men, of, many men and the women of God, they were challenged. But they continue with a God assignment. They continue with a mission which they were assigned here on earth. And the same mission has been mission, has been commissioned unto us a time like this. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we exalt you. We lift up your holy name because there were men and women who were able to finish their assignment. Lord, this is our time. Lord, we pray for the grace to work in our life. Lord, we know sometimes it's very hard. Lord, we know sometimes it's very challenging. Lord, we know sometimes there are obstacles on the way. Lord, we pray for the grace to be on expectation of the result of our assignment in the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you because you want us to continue to do the ministry, the work that you have occurred us, oh God. And Lord, because you have called each of us to do the ministry, Lord, we pray that your grace will continue to be sufficient to each of us, oh God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. We worship you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your grace in our life. Thank you, God, for your grace in our ministry. Thank you, Lord, for your grace in our assignment. Every single day, we bless you and we exalt you and we lift up your holy name, oh God. Because we know we are not alone. You are with us. That God, we can continue with this assignment, the mission that God you have given us to each of us. Thank you, my God. Rombo zekatarababu. Rikatarabarababu zekimu. Rombo zeketekarabarababu. Boimbo rombo zeketerabarababu. Boimbo rombo zeketerabarababu. Yandara mabababu. Boimbo rombo zokotorobo liyantara babu. Boimbo rombo likarabara babu. Boimbo rombo zeketerabarababu. Yandara barababu babu. Boimbo rombo zeketerabarababu. Yandara rombo zeketerabarababu. Yandara rombo zeketerabarababu. Yandara rombo zeketerabarababu. What is your name? What is your name, Jesus? Uramba baba baze. Reketera baba 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 you have assigned us. Lord, with your grace, you are going to help us that we can bring glory and honor to your name. Father, we thank you for the way you have spoken to our life this afternoon. I pray that your grace will continue to work in our life with all the hardship, with all the challenge, with all the obstacles. Lord, the dynamic force is going to push us to work with all the cost in our life that we can be able to enjoy the result that you come out of the action in the assignment that we are doing. As we go back to our offices, our business, help us that God will continue even to do your assignment even where you have placed us this day. We bless you and we exalt you because this we pray believing and trusting in Jesus name our Lord and everybody say amen. Big heart for Jesus. Celebrate.
the anointing. Celebrate the grace of God. Celebrate the doing of the Lord in our life. In Jesus' name. Amen. We left one, two, three, four, five, five. We have five points tomorrow which we are going to cover. Let us come tomorrow and come with a friend that we cover those five points about the zeal in our life. May the grace of God help you as you meet the hard time and the challenges and obstacles. May the grace of God help you to go to the next level as you continue to enjoy the action and the resort that you come and to get to that next level in your assignment in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.